welcome back. Today we're going to go over a recipe of things you should make, not buy, and that is caramel. The reason why I chose caramel is because it's October, it's the holiday season. There are a lot of recipes that use caramel, uh, anything from dipping apples to make caramel apples, there are frostings that include caramel with them on top. There's so many different things you can use with caramel. So I wanted to go through making caramel so that you can either use it on a recipe right away or you can even store it for a later use because again, it's the holiday season, which means a lot of baking and this will in the long run cost you less money than buying the store-bought pre-made caramel. And this recipe I did find from the Preppy Kitchen and he recommends you use the caramel within about two weeks. So if you make it, you can even double the batch, set it aside for your holiday baking. There are only about five ingredients used in this recipe. So it makes it really easy. And the only one that is less of a pantry staple will be your heavy cream. Everything else, water, salt, sugar, a lot of sugar, and some butter, unsalted butter, are all what I could, would consider staples in a kitchen. The first thing you'll wanna do is you wanna take the sugar. I love sugar. Can oh, sugar? and so I'm gonna ask my kids, what are your favorite things about caramel? Sugar. Sugar. Can I have some sugar? No, I'm gonna put the sugar in the caramel. Finn, what's your favorite thing about caramel? No. You like the, the heavy cream? Yeah. He likes the heavy cream in the caramel. So one likes sugar, one likes heavy cream. They all go together. They'll make, maybe we'll make cupcakes with it. Maybe we'll make can caramel candies with it. I don't know, but we'll make something with it, right? So what you wanna do is you'll go ahead and pour the sugar and then you will want to put the water with the sugar. So what he recommends is you take the water and the sugar and you're gonna keep whisking it to dissolve it. Okay, so now we have dissolved the sugar in the water and we are going to take this to the stove over medium level heat and we are going to let it cook down for a few minutes. So the Preppy Kitchen recommends once you have your sugar and water on the heat, not to touch it or stir it. If you find that you have sugar on the sides, you can wet a spatula and just scrape it down in there just so it doesn't end up burning. All right, so we went ahead and we let it bubble up and go until it was a nice amber color. And what he wants you to do is he wants you to take the heavy cream, which is, it's been out for a minute, so it's at room temperature, and we're gonna start whisking it in. We're gonna whisk it in vigorously. He said not to be discouraged in case it starts clumping together. Just keep whisking that vigorously. I turn my burner down to a medium low heat because we're gonna put this back on after we put in the butter. And this is one thing I always like to do. There's always just the tiniest amount there at the end. So we're going to get that in. And it's important for your ingredients to, to stay at room temperature just because when if they were cold and they go into the hot, you don't want to shock them. And then what we want to do after whisking is we're going to put that five tablespoons of butter. Okay, and so that one again is at room temperature. Now, this is where I'm seeing all the clumps, not with the heavy cream. So we're going to whisk that together. And then what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and return this to medium heat for a few more minutes. All right, so we've let this cool for a few hours because now we want to do the taste test. One thing I did notice is it did curdle a little bit. There was a little layer that I had to mix back in, but now it's nice and smooth and it's a light brown color. And a fun tidbit about caramel. I was Googling caramel while I was waiting for this to cool down. Caramel is obviously a candy substance that's obtained by heating sugar. It has been around for a long time because it 
has so few ingredients involved. And Milton Hershey actually began his chocolate empire not with chocolate, it was with caramel. So let's go ahead and give our caramel a nice little taste test. Mmm. Oh, that's a good caramel too. That's really good. I can't wait to use that in some dessert. Thank you for joining me today. Stay tuned because next week I'm going to take this caramel and I'm going to put it into a dessert. You can comment below if you want to take guesses on what I'm going to do or what you think I should be doing with this caramel. You can comment on your favorite caramel recipes. Go ahead and follow me on social media. And if you want to stay up to date and see what I do with this caramel as well as other recipes, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And thank you so much for joining me. Happy Sunday, and I will see you next Sunday.